Chuck, ready for another one? Oh, yes. Okay, this is the topic of white noise. You know... No, no, don't go there. Just stop. I'm just saying. <laughs> Chuck. Since, since January 6th, now that we brought it up. No, I did not bring it up. Now that we brought it up, I got it. just, you know, since January 6th has happened, <laughs> while, while we're on the subject. <laughs> White noise. Right. <laughs> was long defined before the chaos at the Capitol. Okay. okay. All right. So. Uh, white noise is what is described as a combination of sound frequencies that ends up just sounding like a like a hiss. It, it's a hiss, okay? Right. And so, what's going on there? As, as opposed to black noise, <laughs> which is <laughs> shut them damn kids up. <laughs> That's black noise. <laughs> Y'all know I'm down here trying to watch my stories? <laughs> the hell is wrong with you? That is black noise. Black noise. That is black okay. noise. <laughs> Thank you, Chuck. <laughs> we, we'll introduce that to the annals of it's, physics. Right. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Like enough I said. Sil uh, enough silliness. <laughs> so, uh, so, here it is. So, what it is, it's a mixture of all frequencies of sound. Oh, wow. All, all at once. Okay. All audible frequencies of sound. Okay. okay, you could add in others, but it won't make any difference because you can't hear them. Okay, so white noise is low frequency, middle frequency, high frequency. And there are different ways you can do it because high frequency sound at the same amplitude actually carries more energy. So you, you might sort of adjust it so that you have the same amount of energy, uh, sound energy in each sort of frequency band. All right. Okay. So there are different ways to define it. The point I'm making is all sam all frequencies of sound are are sampled, and what that sounds like to you is a hiss. It's like okay. Hiss. Okay. Right. So they say which, the air. It's so unfortunate now that we live in an age of digital streaming and cable television, because kids will never get to know. What white noise sounds like on the oh, television? The hiss, when you're between channels, when t right. when TVs were were actually grabbing free, uh, radio frequencies from the air, yes. right, with the, with the antennas, <laughs> right. If you were between channels, or if the channel went off the air, you would see static on the screen, and that would sound that would be the sound of white noise. Yes. Oh, oh then, by the way, by the way, by, by the way, uh, some fraction, a few percent of the hiss that is on that screen uh -huh. is the cosmic microwave background. Oh, that's hot. As opposed to the world where Carol Ann was taken in Poltergeist. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. I'm not authorized to speak further on places such as that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so that's what it would look like if you made sort of image on a screen. But that would be, oh, by the way, that would be electromagnetic noise. Ooh. So that's not... Audio, yes, they turned a radio signal into an acoustic signal. Right. And that acoustic signal comes across as a hiss, as ah, a white noise. All right. That's so cool. That's so cool. Just to be clear about that. So right. now you have to ask, why is it called white? So here's where it comes from. If uh, Isaac Newton, uh, one day, uh, the sun is shining through his window, mm -hmm. and he closes his curtains or, or he cuts a hole in the wall. I forgot which might have done both. And just one narrow beam of sunlight comes through the wall. Okay. okay. Then he takes a prism, a 60-60-60 equilateral prism, okay? Okay. And he puts the sunlight through the prism, and on the other side of the prism comes the rainbow. Right. The colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet. Okay? But he had a mystical fascination with the number seven, and those six colors don't sum to seven. So he added one. Mm -hmm. which, which color did he add? Indigo? Indigo, of course. So we have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. All right? Mm -hmm. And that spells everybody's friend, Roy G. Biv. Okay? Mm -hmm. We all love Roy G. Biv. Uh, all right. Yes. So there almost, are his... Almost as much as Bell Biv DeVoe. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> 
Bell Biv DeVoe only knew. Oh, <laughs> Had a cousin called Roy G. Biv. If only they knew. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so anyhow, so it, it has all the colors there, okay? Right. So the question is, did the prism create these colors? Because the white light is no longer visible. Right. And this is what everyone presumed. Of course it created the colors. Because if they were there before it entered the prism, the prism, you would see them. We see them. Of course. So, so then he said, well, what will happen if I take another prism, put these colors back through, let's see what then comes out the other side. And you know what came out the other side? White light. And uh, so Newton was very clever, not just because he was smart, but clever in his experiments and what questions to ask and how to adjust the experiment to test for things where you, it could be one thing or another, but let's readjust the test to distinguish what explanation might account for it. Oh. In so doing, he showed that white light from the sun is composed of equal amounts of all the colors in the rainbow, in the spectrum. And by the way, rainbows, people said, oh, the raindrops are making the colors, not the sun. It's right. in the sunlight. This is freaky. How could color be in white light? What the hell is going on? Okay, well, you got to get into the physiology of the retina and the brain and all of that. The point is... Your eyes are racist. <laughs> that <laughs> is how all the white, all the light is white. <laughs> <laughs> all the colors come in to your racist eyes and all they see is white. <laughs> I'm afraid I have to just say that is the physics to the truth. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that comes out of the rainbow flag is white. That's okay? it. There it is. That's the physics of it. So the, the point is, if you combine all those frequencies of light, the red, the orange, the yellow, the green, the blue, the violet, and combine them all, and you have equal amounts of them all, you get white. Uh huh. So, this word in that context was then borrowed by the sound people. Uh -huh. If you put equal frequencies of sound, Okay, it's not a thing, it's just this noise, mm -hmm. we shall call it white noise. Even though the sound, unless you're synesthetic, where you have cross-wired senses, the sound is not a color, all right? But we assign, we say it's white out of homage to Newton and the colors of the spectrum and the fact that you put all of these colors, these different frequencies together and you get the color white. So that hiss, is white noise for that reason. Yeah, you know, and it's funny because it is, I, I understand the, 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 the borrowing of the term. That makes sense be, just because it's the same picture of what yeah, you're yeah, Plus you're using frequencies. You're using you know, frequencies, you know, frequencies right. right? So it's right. sound waves, mm -hmm. light waves, the whole deal, frequencies. Exactly. So that all makes sense. But the, 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 the term doesn't really fit. For, for like you say, unless you're, uh, you know, uh, you have synesthesia, it doesn't right. fit. We it, need it, a better term for white noise is what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So the point is noise can be any combination of those frequencies. But when it's equal across the board, mm -hmm. the, only then is it white noise. That's no, why can't it be equality noise? <laughs> okay. <laughs> DEI noise, diversity, equity, there, inclusion. There you go. Diversity, equity, and inclusion noise. that's what it's doing. That's D -E it's including -E everybody. And we can call it day. Day noise. DEI -E noise. Day. Right now, there are, let me tell you something. Right now, there are some Fox News viewers that are watching us right now, and their heads are exploding. <laughs> their heads are exploding right now. No. Bill Maher just threw up right now. <laughs> <No. laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because he's, cause he's anti woke. That's oh yes, he's yeah, so yeah. anti woke. But yeah, yeah. yeah. no, so, it makes perfect sense, honestly, to to borrow that uh, that picture. But it's of, a very of, specific of, kind of noise. It really it's, is. It's, otherwise, it's not white noise. For example, if you had more red in your spectrum than blue, and right. you mix them together, the object will have a red hue to it. Right. Okay. Yeah. And if you have more 
a blue in the mixture rather than red, it would have a blue hue to yeah, it. In fact, red stars and blue stars in the sky are exactly that. They're giving you all frequencies, but they lean towards those the, the, that side of the spectrum that has those colors. So um, I, I think it's okay to borrow terms yeah. that make sense in other contexts. I don't have a problem with that. Yeah, it, it paints the picture. I mean, uh, you know, from yeah. the new, the problem is not too many people know the Newton story. That's my point. Is that yeah? yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, it, it makes. I mean, it makes perfect sense once you, once you explain the Newton story. I'm like, oh my god, that that's awesome. You know, and it, it, like I get it now. White right. noise. And, and if your acoustic noise is clank clankety clanking, or or if you can find any signal within that noise, it's not white noise. It's not white. Right. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Oh, that's it's, yeah, it's very cool though. Okay. I, like so I thought I just set the record straight there. Yeah. Chuck? Once again, I'm impressed that you took, you know, something totally stupid, <laughs> made it made it super interesting <laughs> and and informative. I got, I'm tell you something. I don't know how many times you can pull this trick. <laughs> Plus, I, I don't want to hear later on that you come out with a with an album, uh, Black Noise. <laughs> Oh my God, that should be my next album. Chuck's Black, Black Noise. Noise. That I is good. It. That's good. That's a good that, name for an album. That's all that I'm could saying. work. That mm -hmm. could work. Black Noise. Black you Noise. Heard, you heard of White Noise? Here's yeah. some Black Noise. There you go. Shut the hell up. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> Don't make me put my foot up your ass. There you go. That's more Black Noise. <laughs> <laughs> All uh, right, we got to end that. And by that. the way, let me what? just say this. What, what? Black noise and white noise make perfect sense together, okay? It's just like, what the hell is going on? What, how many times I'm going to tell you? Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Man, shut the hell up. All right, oh. we're done here. Uh, yet another explainer brought to you by Star Talk. Neil deGrasse Tyson here, your personal astrophysicist. Keep looking up.